today <coughs> I'm actually <coughs> I want to pay attention at uh, uh, pervasive institutionalized uh, racism in American science like uh, when I studied uh, psychology tax textbook uh, uh, by Corey uh, let's say um, it was physiolog physiological psychology actually I found quite a number of places where Corey uh, extolled uh, substance abuse it, uh, they told that uh, but uh, use of uh, cocaine is uh, maybe uh, uh, enhance one's pleasure, stuff like that. So I thought that uh, I'm exactly like sometimes maybe drug pushes and, uh, uh, and actually <coughs> lie to public about non existent uh, properties of uh, narcotics. Narcotics never treated anybody and never could uh, enhance anybody's pleasure. It just uh, dope and uh, was used for substance abuse and uh, for. <coughs> for inducing uh, psychotic states on uh, one's individuality. I also believe that uh, actually uh, uh, such racist statements uh, from uh, uh, um, some American psycho health scientists who, who mentioned that uh, black people were likely uh, to go to a mental hospital, black inferior but inferiority of colored people like uh, Hispanics and blacks are told that uh, Hispanics people are more likely uh, to suffer uh, from um, lupus or other diseases uh, people of Hispanic uh, descent uh, which is untrue and I believe that uh, all, all diabetes militia, uh, I also believe that uh, racist statements of American scientists are, are wrong and uh, they should actually uh, stop it and uh, Barack Obama should do everything in order to cut out uh, institutionalized racist statements from uh, American health textbook and psychology textbook that, uh, uh, that uh, full of anti-Semitism like taste sex disease uh, being uh, as, uh, attributed to um, persons of Jewish uh, ethnicity so it's actually anti-Semitic uh, statements with people um, should an ethnic racial group like blacks, Hispanics, or Jews, or being villainified and uh, also gays as well. Uh, uh, since uh, in American units started writing psychology textbook and health science books, uh, with America uh, would actually will uh, have to deal with the impact of the hate mongering on part of right wing extremists who write with, uh, try to push dope like cocaine uh, in a psychology textbook, uh, like um, trying to. Uh, introduce uh, substance abuse as a ex pleasurable experience uh, even extremely pleasurable but such a psychologist like Corey who wrote uh, <coughs> such an outrageous lie about uh, s cocaine abuse uh, in his uh, book uh, textbook uh, Physiological Psychology and I believe that uh, Barack Obama should actually contribute to um, the removing of this uh, was racist and you know, fascist lies about uh, inferiority of blacks, uh, colored people, and gay people in comparison with, uh, <coughs> with white males. And, uh, with uh, sexist lies of American psychologists uh, and ageist lies uh, and uh, hate mongering and racism is a symptom of uh, homophobia. It was uh, mentally American psychologists such as Jeff Nevid. Uh, Corey and uh, those who wrote the uh, health textbook uh, were writing racist lies who were trying to say that colored people and blacks were likely to suffer with heart disease where Jews were likely to suffer with a sex disease these are racist uh, neo fascist lies on part of uh, mentally homopathic uh, individuals who write those textbooks as homopathy is a uh, human hate is a mental disease based on uh, pathological love and hating of people all over ethnicity race, sex, and uh, agenda, creed. And I believe that uh, American psychologists who try to vilify uh, gay people and women, like uh, gay people being declared like uh, <coughs> mostly in AIDS cases, which are untrue, or as profligates, people who uh, conduct uh, disorderly sexual way of life and share um, needles like drug addicts, uh, most likely to, go, go to contract uh, AIDS and AIDS were profligates and uh, immoral people, unethical people who are engaged in uh, profligacy 
adultery are likely to contract uh, <coughs> HIV AIDS uh, or people who engage in group sex uh, with immoral and unethical people are likely to contract HIV AIDS. People who lead virtuous way of life have uh, single uh, and stable um, sex partner and don't change it and uh, have, uh, have an ethical point of view of life are uh, unlikely to contract venereal disease such as horrible uh, and killing uh, uh, human immunodeficiency virus AIDS and also believe in other venereal disease and also believe that uh, <coughs> that uh, um, racism and sexism and uh, ageism are <coughs> symptoms of homopathy uh, homopathy is a mental disease is a form of psychopathy, a specific form of psychopathy based on pathological love and of uh, <coughs> individuals of uh, different uh, ethnic, uh, s sexual and uh, age groups, uh, um, different creed, uh, national origin, marital status, ethnicity and nationality. And I believe that uh, mm, uh, American psychologists should pay more attention to studying of uh, psychopath. Psychopath is a mental disease based on pathological uh, following of uh, uh, pa following of pathological uh, urges and desires. When a person uh, conducts, uh, uh, you know, um, a lifestyle uh, according to one's pathological desires, I seek uh, uh, pathological um, <coughs> urges uh, or uh, hate mongering uh, towards our ethnicity, race, sex, age, or creed. Uh, that person ca is a mentally ill psychopath, and uh, American nation should become a healthy nation. Uh, it's Barack Obama promised uh, national mental health insurance, uh, national insurance for physical and mental illnesses, in order to treat homopathy. As uh, homopathic individuals are likely to get hate mongering, commit hate crime. Therefore, with preventive treatment is important to public health and I also believe that uh, Democrats should contribute to public health more progressive agenda let's say of discovering alien intelligence by building super telescope with video feed, laser beam and uh, vacuum magnification in order to um, see alien planets uh, up close and I believe that uh, with American public uh, if we think uh, it means uh, get by by Philistine sentiment uh, of profligates uh, and uh, um, obscenities, uh, it's w w won't be the case. American public needs progressive agenda of discovering alien intelligence, progressive agenda of uh, um, democratic agenda of um, receiving national h health insurance, at least for poor people, because people who, uh, as we've always been in America, like poor people, always received uh, um, Medicaid, the medical. <coughs> insurance, government insurance for working poor who wouldn't afford buying insurance and whom insurance company <coughs> illegally discriminated like sexual and racial minorities uh, that's why uh, was racist America that uh, refuses um, in, um, in coverage uh, in pain uh, for treatment of um, let's say physical illnesses and mental illnesses uh, should be condemned Nowadays, uh, the vast majority of Americans better decided to be better be red when they come. F <laughs> better be, uh, of course, better be prosperous and alive than suffering, or suffering or disease, uh, without doubt. And I believe that uh, American health science is, is keeps writing such things like you know, doesn't matter things that matter as uh, as all of us today. I think uh, this is just hate mongering a very sick homopathic statement uh, that I heard from um, uh, a Tlovere college teacher uh, uh, Michel uh, Lovelin uh, and I believe that uh, this kind of unhealthy statements in the health science uh, racist statements that vilify uh, black people, African American and Mexican Americans is a disgrace to American science and Barack Obama, I demand that Barack Obama paid attention to uh, eradicating racist, sexist, and age statements from health science books and from psychology textbooks. And I uh, hopefully uh, God will help him uh, to overcome uh, uh, racist bias of mentally ill and